Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. And before this video starts, I would like to ask you to please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It is free and you will not miss when I upload a new video to my channel if you hit that subscribe button. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a topic that I haven't talked about in a while. I have talked about it on my I have talked about it on my channel before. It's not a it is a someone or someone's. They go by the name of Miles Behavior. I am a fan of them. I've been listening to them ever since they came out with my girl with the four original members of the group. If you are a Miles Behavior fan like me or you are part of TM, which is Team Miles, then you know that Miles Behavior has been going through a bunch of just drama and a bunch of mess throughout the last year, year and a half. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about it. And if you are behind on what is or what has been happening and what currently is happening and I'm gonna fill you in that way you are not left in the dark starting off the whole thing that I believe that mainly started all this drama is when Prodigy decided to leave the group and go solo and so when this happened I was like okay I'm gonna be happy for him but on the other side, I did not think that this was such a good idea for him to go out and venture out to go solo just yet because I know that in popular boy bands and boy groups, there's always somebody, one member of the group that goes out and, you know, goes solo and then they, you know, do great things. And so I was like, okay, he wants to do the same thing. But I didn't think that it was a time for him to do that now, and it really didn't work out too well. While he was out doing that, three other members, Ray, Prince, and Rock, they were still in the group, and they were searching for a new lead singer to fill in Prodigy spot. So months and months go by, and then, you know, they're still doing shows, just the three of them, and I, I personally think that that's kind of awkward. They still have, like, Prodigy's part playing and everything, and he's not there the group finally towards the end of last year it's 2015 now <laughs> towards the kind of towards the end of last year we found out about EJ being the new member of the group and Miles behavior not Miles behavior but team Miles of course they had their own opinions about everything and some you know still love Prodigy and they weren't too happy about it and some were happy that you know, they were finally moving on and getting ready for new music and everything, which I am personally waiting on. They said that there's supposed to be new music soon, so hopefully that'll be this year in 2015. And so finally we find out about EJ, and I'm like, okay, we're going to move forward, and there's going to be new music soon, and everything is going to be fine. But of course, something has to happen. During the summertime, it was sometime in July... Rock Royal posted a video on Instagram, which he later deleted. He should, never should have posted it in the first place. But it was a video of him beating up a crackhead for $10. Which is, is like, it's not funny. It's just so stupid. I don't know what else to do but laugh. Why would you feel the need to go out and beat up a crackhead for $10 when you can go out and make that easily? I mean, it makes no sense. So I don't even want to get into that because that's a whole other subject. And quite frankly, I don't want to get too deep into that right now. And so Rock has been basically acting now. He's had a lot of stuff. He's been not only that video with him beating up the crackhead for $10. And then he was constantly just missing shows, apparently, to go out and be with Desiree and the baby. And the new... Th newest thing that came out towards the end of last year was him apparently or allegedly stealing a car 
which he denied that he did that, but that's the latest thing that came out. And so Rock has just been having a lot of stuff going on and I guess the management of Ma's behavior felt like it was just distracting him too much and he was causing too much trouble so they decided to let him go from Ma's behavior. I don't know if this is permanently, I don't know if this is just temporarily, nobody knows except for you know Ma's behavior and management. T Miles, we personally don't know. But, you know, Rock, he DM'd a fan or whatever, and he told the whole story, and she went and posted it on her Instagram. And long story short is basically they told him that he is kicked out of the group because he's, you know, like I said earlier, he's been causing too much trouble and he's doing too much, and so he just needs time to himself to get his self and his act together. So, like I said, I don't know if this is permanent or temporary, and only time will tell but there's been this kind of protesting to where team malice has you know been doing things like creating instagram or twitter accounts dedicated to bringing rock back to the group and there's been campaigns and everything and yeah team malice isn't too happy right now with everything that's going on i know personally i'm not because it's a bunch of mess we basically take two steps back Every single time we're not moving forward as soon as you know prodigy leaves and then they find a new member i think okay things are getting better and then something sets it back and then we move up a little bit and it sets it back even more so we're not making any progress with anything the they're doing shows they did a show with the omg girls and i saw it on mb yearbook's youtube page so shout out to mb yearbook and make sure you go and check her channel out she's awesome she always gives the inside scoop on mom's behavior so that's where i always find out this stuff from so if you are a mom's behavior fan make sure you go and subscribe to her youtube channel follow her on instagram and twitter that way you know what's going on because she always keeps us filled so yeah personally i'm just ready for mom's behavior to just have their set members of who's going to be in the group. I'm tired of people getting kicked out and then brought back in and kicked out, brought back in. I mean, it's confusing Team Islands, it's confusing me. And, you know, I just want things to get good and be good that way we don't have to worry about anything. We don't have to worry about any drama. That way we can focus on the new music that's supposed to come out. Because all this mess of people getting kicked out and the drama with certain things, it's, I don't know if people are noticing, but it's pushing back and setting back us hearing the new music. And personally, I've been waiting on new music. There hasn't been new music for a while. So I want to hear the new music, I want to see the new things, I want new music videos, all of that. You know, a new tour coming out, hopefully. With all this mess going on, it's been setting it back, and I'm just ready to go. I'm ready to get the ball rolling, and it's it's just been stalling for too, too much and too long. And so I personally think that Miles' behavior and management, ma mainly management, but Miles' favorite and management need to get their act together and stop leaving another big thing is stop leaving Team Miles in the dark about stuff because Team Miles, we don't know about a lot of stuff that goes on. So we have to basically guess and play detective and figure stuff out and put the pieces together. And you know, sometimes we're right and sometimes we're wrong. And us having to do that. And leaving us in the dark, that's not helping anything. That just, you know, stirs more stuff up. And so they need to come out and they need to let us know what's up, what's truly going on. Because we don't know. We may be thinking we're getting new music, but with all the stuff that's been happening, is that promise that we're going to get new music no matter who's in the group or what's going on? Because it's a big setback. And honestly, I'm not happy what's going on. So main point of this video is 
Miles' behavior and management need to just get it together. That way we can get the new music out and have everything just go in the way it needs to go. Because with the first two albums of Miles' behavior, things were just constantly, you know, rolling with music and everything. And, you know, of course there was drama. There's always going to be drama with something. But it wasn't this much drama as to what's happening now. So I don't know what's going to happen or what's what needs to happen for things to get rolling but things need to get rolling because it's it's been too long it's really been too long and the only new thing that's really came out is the song with ej i think it's called my baby and i don't even think they have the like the song out for that they just performed it at a show that's the only way i heard it was a show and somebody recorded that and put it on youtube if they never posted that on youtube i wouldn't have known about it so it's just been too long without new music and you know new music videos and everything so i'm tired of waiting t miles is tired of waiting i know they are and so 2015 it's a new year new things and it, it needs to happen so yeah thank you for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed this video i really really hope you did make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel and also make sure that you leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about what's going on with Miles' behavior and Team Miles and anything about that. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Also make sure you like this video. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And yeah. And the last thing, I know that I have been making videos twice a week. For the past few months. I've been making two videos a week for the past, past few months. And it's a new year. And this year is going to be crazy for me. Because it is the second semester of my school year. Of my senior year in high school. And so there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. Especially like once the end of this month hits. I'm going to have a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to be doing. Considering that, you know, I've got a lot of stuff with uh, school programs and then I'm going to New York with my school choir in March and so that's not far away at all and so I have a lot to get done and yeah and then I graduated May thank God but there's gonna be a lot going on and so main point is I am going to start putting out at least one video a week I hope that that's not you know I hope that that's not sad or anything but putting out two videos a week is starting to get too much for me well not yet but i know that it will be once i start you know getting busy or with certain things and i don't want to fulfill a pledge and not fulfill it you know all the way so one video a week i don't know what day it's going to be yet um it's either going to be it's either going to be on Wednesdays or Fridays. I'm not sure yet, but in the next video I will clarify a day to where I will post my video every week. So, yeah. Now you know, one video a week. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me, and I will see you in the next video.